Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we're gonna finally be doing our office PC bill. And so I kind of tallied up the price of everything. And so this uh, is a budget office PC bill. It's around $550. And it's a great starter PC for later on if you plan to upgrade it later. Okay. For the CPU, we're going with a Pentium Gold 6600. It is a G6600 on the LGA 1200 platform. Um, I know this is not the most ideal CPU. Uh, a better choice for the budget would be the 101100, i3 101100. But I haven't seen any really reviews for this online on YouTube. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to give it a try. Um, as for the memory, we're going with uh, these Crucial Ballistics uh, 2x16, uh, 2x8 kits, sorry. And it's 2666 megahertz. For the motherboard, we're going with the Azeroth H470M Pro. This is a micro ATX board. I got a really good price on this. Uh, sorry, this one I got for about 75 and this one is retailing for about 100 So this, this motherboard is 105 uh, I haven't seen it sold again since at that price. So I'm, I've been very fortunate in getting everything at a, a relatively decent price. Uh, as for the uh, SSD, we are going with a uh, Samsung 970 Evo, it's 500 gigs, great way to start, you can always add more drive space later. <clears throat> and that was about 60 bucks at the time. Right now they're going for about 75, so I consider myself again lucky that I got that at that good price. Now we are going to be adding a Wi-Fi card into this. The motherboard does not have Wi-Fi on it, but this is... Wi-Fi 6. For 25 bucks, I can go ahead and add that to the system. And our power supply is a Seasonic GX650. Uh, it is overkill, way overkill for the system. But if you want a good upgrade path, this is a good way to start. There was a $15 rebate on it. It is, I got it for 90 bucks. Very happy with my purchase. And of course, we're building it in the We'll be building it in this, which is the Be Quiet Pure Base 500. Um, I got the tempered glass version, but we are going to be putting a steel side panel on it instead. So that'll be a fun little experiment. And the reason I wanted the steel side panel, and uh, as well as the tempered glass, is upgrade upgradability. Once our system looks uh, pretty good at the end, then we can go ahead and just put the tempered glass and show it off. Until then, as an office PC, you want it to be as quiet as possible. So let's give it the best chance we can. And for the fans, we are going with the fans that are in the case. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we did is we opened up the motherboard and we basically took out everything. That was the um, IO shield. And we're gonna end up using our box to build on our motherboard. So this is a closer view of it. You can pause and take a look if you want. Now, since we have an Intel build, we're gonna go ahead and lift the uh, retention bracket and that part, we're gonna lift it up like that. When you place the CPU, there are two notches on either side of the CPU. It can only really go in one way. Uh, give it a little wiggle, but don't put pressure because the pins are on the board. Place that um, shield down and then push down the retention bracket. You will hear a little crunch, but that's okay. And then that part should pop right off. Now we're gonna go ahead and go with the stock cooler, the Intel stock cooler. It is pre-applied with thermal paste and they were nice enough to cable manage it. When you do place it, make sure that the arrows aren't pointing uh, towards you on those um, push pins. Um, I made sure to mount it and take a look underneath to make sure it was in place before I pushed down the pins, obviously in the opposite corner. And we just used the header that was closest to the pin. Now we're going to go ahead and install the SSD. We just unscrew the shield just like that. And there is the little heat sink. And uh, just place it in like that. Put in the little M.2 screw. And don't forget to take that off before you place it, of course. Now put the shield on top. And we're going to go ahead and just place the screws and then screw it down. 
having a magnetic screwdriver would really help with this as well that way it doesn't um, the screw doesn't fly off as you're screwing it down after we install the m.2 we're gonna go ahead and install the wi-fi card it's just like a m.2 nvme uh, you basically uh, insert it at a uh, angle and you screw it down now for ram you want to use every other slot and make sure the bracket is open before you do that and you should hear a satisfying click when you do place it. This is a quick look at our board before we um, put it inside the case. Now our case is a PureBase 500 which comes with the standoffs pre-installed as an ATX build. So we're going to go ahead and unscrew um, the, the standoffs at the bottom and place them in the correct position uh, for a micro ATX which is labeled uh, with a U as well as a number. We remove the PCIe bracket at the bottom for the Wi-Fi uh, bracket. And we'll just place the motherboard in and screw it down. And we'll go ahead and place the Wi-Fi bracket at this point. We've plugged in the HD audio, the power switch, just like that, with just a little bit of cable management, of course, along the way. Uh, we'll put our power supply in, which comes with a bracket so we can place it right from the back. We go ahead and plug in our motherboard in the top left. Now we'll plug in our 24 pin as well as our front USB headers right there. Um, we plugged in our rear fan and with just a little bit of cable management right there. Uh, we're, I'm right now looking for an optimal place for the front fan header, which I decided was right there along the side. That would be the cleanest setup and cable management, which I am doing right at that point. Now, this part was a little bit difficult because the spacing between um, where you're supposed to insert uh, your wiring for cable management was so uh, narrow. So I kind of put a little bit of an angle and it ended up looking great. Uh, but I wish the, that little gap was just a little bigger. We're just doing some final touches with some cable management. And just like that, we have a built PC. Very simple. It was uh, a very easy build. It did have some RGB on it, which I did end up defaulting it to white light. And as you can see, the CPU did set up. It is started. And we are sitting at about... Uh, generally 45C across the board and you can barely hear the system. So once I made sure the uh, CPU was booted and it worked, uh, I made sure to check my cable management as you can see right there before we had closed up the system. Once I was satisfied with the cable management, I went ahead and closed up the back panel. But because we were going with a steel side panel instead of a tempered glass, we needed to remove the rubber seal as well as the standoffs from the corner. So I just pried off the rubber seal on the side and unscrewed the standoffs. And there you go, the steel side panel fit really nicely. It is completely silent. You don't hear a thing. It looks gorgeous. It's very inconspicuous and it blends in perfectly in an office and you don't have to worry about the glass breaking if you are in that type of environment where you're worried about that. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video and subscribe for more content. And of course, there will be more content coming with this when we upgrade the PC. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good one. Take care.